Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A beautiful day across the Mid-South. Our chances for rainfall as of last night were never really truly that much to brag about, so there wasn't much in the way of showers overnight to talk of. Not really seeing too much of anything else in the way of problems immediately. Tonight looks dry, also pretty quiet, and then also into Monday and most of Tuesday, that looks okay as well, but we are going to be seeing again the chances of more areas of showers and thunderstorms coming our way as we go into the late part of this next week. April looks like it's going to end dry. Doesn't look like early part of May is going to be staying that way. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Nice across the area for right now. Again, great evening to get out and get some fresh air. Not going to be seeing too much in the way of dry conditions into later on this week. That would be nice, but it doesn't look like it's going to be happening. If you'd like to check in for tonight, give us a city-state location and give us a weather report. If you've got one, we'll show some of the webcams around the area to give you an idea as to what's going on out there for this Sunday evening. We'll also take a look at what's going on with your weather pictures. Got plenty of those as well. Plus, our new environmental blog is up and going. If you'd like to see more about what's going on out there when it comes to things ecological and what you can do to help the environment and about Asteroid Day. That's coming up in just about two months, so stay tuned again for more on that in just a few minutes. More on the forecast that's available again at wreg.com slash weather. If you'd like to check out and see more about the forecast, including our 7 to 10 day forecast is also available there, so stay Stay tuned for more on that. Throughout the rest of the evening, again, plenty of clouds out there coming and going. Should be seeing, again, clear skies. It's mostly clear skies at times. Then, again, a little bit more in the way of cloud cover throughout the rest of the night. Temperatures will be back into around the lower 60s by the time we hit tomorrow morning. And, again, we could see the possibility of some more showers later. But for Monday, at least, you're not going to need the umbrella or the windshield wipers for right now. So definitely some good news on that for the time being at this point. So looking good. Uh, 61 and clear in Gleason, Tennessee. Trey Harris. Thank you very much for that one. Steve Buckner checking in from Horn Lake. Thank you very much. Bastrop, Louisiana. I hope I'm saying that right from Toby Chrisiel. I hope I'm not slaughtering that in the way of a name. You figure with a name like Onik, I would know better on that. Leslie Williams Cowron, welcome to the show for this evening. Hope everything's well from Radio Land if you're still in that location. Dry in Cortland, Mississippi. Denise Reed, thank you very much for checking on through there. Very close to normal where it comes to temperatures out across the Mid South, back in the upper 70s, right about where we should be, but a little cooler than yesterday's temperatures and 60 degrees just above our normal low temperature for this time of the year. Still got a pretty good surplus of rainfall in the gauge, so not much to worry about where it comes to either drought, dust bowl, or anything else in the way of very tender, dry conditions for the vegetation, but that may be coming up in the course of the next several weeks. Leftover light into the western skies from our transmitter tower camera. And again, more of those clouds are going to be drifting on through the area as we go into the course of the rest of the evening tonight. So it won't be totally clear might be able to see a Russian rocket satellite going overhead in just about an hour's time or so. If you'd like to know more information about that, again, check out our social media pages. We'll tell you more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Uh, trendy Billet, what's the weather like for tomorrow? We'll get to that coming up here in just a little bit. Daryl Kelly from Cottonville, Mississippi. Welcome to the show. And Walnut, Mississippi. Patsy Ice Allstat, so I'm saying that right. Two-point typeface and bifocals make it very hard to read. Good news at this time, the Memfix 4 construction project continues, and it looks like things are about ready to wrap up on 240. The new stripes are down on the new paved section of 240 between Bill Morris Parkway and all the way back to about Walnut Grove and parts of the flyover. The overpasses are still open, but parts of the interstate on the east side of the 240 system are still closed down at this time. So if you're going to be traveling that way, you can go over the interstate, but traveling on parts of the interstate, not going to be able to happen. But it looks like it should be a great commute tomorrow with brand new paved roadways in place. So definitely some good news there. Also good news, again, nothing showing up on Storm Tracker 3S radar. Pretty quiet into and around the area for right now. Not seeing anything in the way of major problems out there for the time being. Cynthia Stone, 61 and clear, dry in Camden, Tennessee. 
Thank you very much for that report. Dana Lewis Bridges, beautiful in Jonesboro today. Glad to hear about that. And beautiful in Eastview, Judy G. Hickerson. Thank you very much for stopping on by. Not much except a few clouds around portions of the Mid-South here. And some of those, again, light, thin clouds drifting on through throughout the rest of the evening. Our next storm system is getting organized back to our northwest across the plains back into the lee of the Rockies, and that's going to be drifting our direction. This cold front is going to be making its way through and into the Mid-South later on this week. It's not going to be in any hurry to move, as opposed to the last storm system, which rocketed on through here over the course of the weekend. This one is going to slow down, take its time, and then park itself very near to the Mid-South, and that's going to have a pretty big impact on our weather in the next couple of days. 63 and clear in Newburn, Tennessee, Paulette Morrow, thank you very much uh, for that one. And also, who do we have here? Dana Lewis Bridges, beautiful in Monette, Arkansas today. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Uh, snowing six to eight inches in St. Louis. Uh, I haven't heard about that specifically, Amy Hayes, but uh, could be, again, some pretty snowy conditions up around the Plain State. Chicago, I know, got pasted pretty well, as well as the Dakotas picking up some uh, blizzard conditions up in that area, according to our former photographer, Brad Nygaard, up in Williston, North Dakota. Temperatures here, quite pleasant. Live real-time weather showing upper 60s to lower 70s. Very nice out there. Running the numbers into tonight and tomorrow. We will see again the chances of showers way back to our north and west. Not seeing anything for us here as we go into daybreak tomorrow morning. But some temperatures could drop into the 50s, so it will be a bit brisk as we go into very early tomorrow morning for the kids at the bus stop. So please keep that in mind out there. Uh, Colleen Conroy, DeMorinville, 47. Wish it were in the 60s. Yeah, well, it was a little bit warmer here for right now, but uh, not by much at this point in time. Oh, all rain in St. Louis, Amy Hayes. Okay, cool. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Rest of the forecast again into tomorrow. Should be some pretty pleasant numbers coming up. Doesn't look like much outside of just a few areas of cloud cover drifting on through, and that should be pretty much about all that we wind up with uh, at this point in time. Now, again, winds today out of the north-northeast. Tomorrow, the moving lines on screen here heading back from the south, so that's going to bump the numbers up by just a little bit, not by much, but we should see highs tomorrow by the time the kids get out of school in the high 80, high 70s to the lower 80s. And again, seeing that potential for more chances of showers and thunderstorms much later on in the forecast as we go into the next couple of days. But tomorrow looks to be pleasant, dry, mild, very close to normal for this time of the year. And by the time we hit News Channel 3 at 10 tomorrow night, only back in the upper 60s to around the lower 70s. Now, no severe weather expected for tonight into Monday, likewise for Monday into Tuesday. But for Tuesday into Wednesday, when you see this large of an area of severe weather being forecast already, now again, the Mid-South area is over here, so we're not going to see too much out of this until probably about Wednesday or so. But this is pretty significant to see something this large being forecast this far out. So this is something we really need to watch out for. So from St. Louis, Columbia, Jeff City, Kansas City, Tulsa, Fort Smith, down to the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, could be some pretty decent thunderstorms taking place, which could have a pretty big impact on the midsection of the country. Now, again, not for the Mid-South, but this out here could be moving our way by about midweek. This forecast will change this forecast you're looking at here is still several hours old, so a new forecast update will be coming up relatively soon into around tonight. We'll bring that to you on News Channel 3 social media, so stay tuned for more on that. Throughout the rest of Monday, quite pleasant. Temperatures back into the lower 80s for high temperatures, so seeing again some pretty quiet conditions out there for now. Clouds will be on the increase toward Tuesday evening, fairly mild again, a little bit above normal, mid-80s expected on Tuesday, lower 80s on Wednesday, and Wednesday afternoon and evening. That's where we see the chances of showers and thunderstorms redeveloping, and that'll be sticking around again from Thursday into Friday. Might even see some thunderstorms very early on Saturday. So for all the Mid-South area, this is where we'll see the temperatures drop by just a little bit thanks to the clouds and the rain blocking out some of that sunshine. We'll also see the best chances of showers and thunderstorms coming up on Thursday, diminishing toward the weekend. And then late next Sunday, there is the potential of some showers and thunderstorms in the forecast, but not great chances at this time. It is still, again, 
pretty well far into the future, so it's doubtful this will be holding around, but we will keep our eyes on it as we see what comes up there. As we see again, potential of some showers and thunderstorms out there into the early part of the first full week of May, about two weeks from now. But once again, that's pretty far in the future, so a lot can change at this point in time. So should be seeing again the potential for some more problems out there off and on down the line, which means that if you have any plans for outdoors, especially with school coming to an end, uh, field day, graduation activities, things like that. You're going to need to definitely pay attention to the forecast because a lot of things out there that might be outdoors for school-related activities might have to move back indoors again. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3. We'll keep you advised as to what may be going on uh, into and around the area for right now. Joe Craig Sanders, snow on Tuesday in Alliance, Nebraska. Would not be surprised on that one, so uh, could be something there. On Saturday morning, had kind of a curious little effect going on. We started getting phone calls here at the News Channel 3 studios. People were looking west of downtown Memphis across the river into eastern Arkansas as these tendrils of clouds drifted on through that kind of looked vaguely tornado-ish. They weren't tornadoes. They were areas of rain falling into very dry air. So what happens was that the air diminishes or evaporates the rainfall, but it can leave behind tendrils of rain like this. It's just hanging in the atmosphere, drifting on through, but as it falls, it evaporates. They're called fall street clouds or commonly known as Virga, V-I-R-G-A. It's a special type of cloud. And Nicole Harris on Facebook caught this, didn't get the neighborhood that she checked in from, but did manage to see some of this taking place out there. And you probably did too, uh, as those clouds pass on over. They're very common when you have light rainfall, over very dry air and that's what we were looking at into and around the area on Saturday morning as that latest amount of rainfall came on through. Kelvin Gates, thank you very much for a view of the Edge Motor Fest from the Edge District in downtown Memphis. Beautiful view of some classic cars going on there on Saturday. James R. Gulledge, a beautiful view of some sunlit uh, flowers from around Humboldt, Tennessee. Thank you very much uh, for that picture on there. And again, we'll be seeing uh, some pretty good amounts of hopefully good pictures in the next few days. A. Butler, 1967, caught a great sunrise from Jonesboro, Arkansas. We don't n typically get a lot of pictures from around Jonesboro. So thank you again for uh, all the pictures out there for right now. Loreen Sabrina Ottinger, East Tennessee. Uh, anywhere near Knoxville, that's my wife's home stomping territory. And, of course, my son is at East Tennessee State in Johnson City out there. Zachary Brian Steyer, Memphis in May with rainfall. Could be some rain out there. Hopefully it'll stay away for the bulk of the festival, but we'll keep you updated on that and should be remaining dry for most of the festival weekend coming up uh, from what it looks like for right now. So hopefully, again, it stays that way for the time being. For If you've got weather pictures out there, we'd love to see them and show them like you just saw right here. So send them along to me, again, on social media all over the place there, or email it to me at austin.onic at wrhe.com. Would love to have your pictures out across the Mid-South area. If you've got any quick weather videos, we'd love to see that as well. And you can find me all over social media out there. So find a way to send them to me there. Latest edition of our exclusive environmental blog called Your Environment will be posted to our environmental page coming up later on. That's at wreg.com slash weather. Click on the Your Environment button or go to weather.wreg.com slash weather slash environment. And you can find out more about this week's topic, which is all about electric cars and the new feature on Google Maps that will allow you to search for not only where the latest installed charging stations are, but who's using them, as in if they are in use, and how much time is left on their charging ability. So you can take a look at a whole bunch of information on that, and that's going to be available later on this evening. Also coming up in about two months, it's called Asteroid Day. It's your opportunity from the United Nations to look at the information about what's being flung around inside of our solar system. We know of about 650,000 asteroids, comets, meteors, things like that out there, but it's the ones we don't know about 
that should be a concern. So if you'd like to know more about this, asteroidday.org. That's coming up on the 30th of June. That's the anniversary of the meteor impact in Tunguska, Russia. If you'd like to know more about that, stay tuned to my social media pages, and we'll keep you updated on that. My forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3, if you'd like to hear more there. And, of course, I'll be back on with Bob and Josh starting tomorrow morning bright and early at 6 a.m. on AM 730 and 1600. If you're outside the listening range of the radio stations, dial them up online at talkbacklivenetwork.org. Sports chat extraordinaire for the Mid-South. Learning all, all sorts of things out there if you'd like to take a look and see uh, into and around the area for right now. Uh, Amy Hayes, how do I send a picture of the arch to you? Again, you can find me on uh, any of these social media networks, I'm out there any place. You can post the picture as well. Or, again, you can email it to me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Or, if you'd like to, it might be just much easier for you to drop it onto my Facebook page. And give me a second here for just a moment. Check the comments section as it scrolls on by. And right there, that's my Facebook page. Uh, on the comment section at facebook.com slash austinonic w-r-e-g if you'd like to uh, submit any pictures that direction as well all right one more check of the forecast before we wrap things up for this evening again temperatures cool but mild tomorrow morning clouds coming and going no rain for the kids at the bus stop in the morning so no problem there and temperatures rising pretty nicely as those winds turn back up out of the south so we should be seeing some fairly mild conditions out there as we go into the rest of the evening and into tomorrow morning rain chances coming back into the picture as we hit mid to late week and hopefully no severe weather out there we'll have an update on the forecast that should read 8 45 p.m instead of 10 45 a.m apologies on that got the morning and setting the evening edition out there and of course i'll have an update on the forecast tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. That's it for this edition of Weather Overtime. Thanks to everybody for the weather comments out there from across the Mid-South and beyond. I'll have more on News Channel 3 at 10, also online. And Todd Demers will have more on your forecast right into the week, starting at 4.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. So stay tuned for that. And, of course, get your commute going properly with Corey Ventura. She'll be on with Time Saver Traffic as well. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, on the News Channel 3 Studios grounds, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us tonight, and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for a lot more information on air and online.